Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's doing well. So this one is gonna be about range. It is about minus four degrees outside and I am driving downtown today. I need to go to work, pick up a couple things and come back and probably do a couple calls there while I'm there. So uh, my plan is to head over uh, downtown. It's about 46 kilometers each way as you could see there. So I put in my navigation. I'm gonna drive the speed limit. I'm not gonna accelerate too much and I'm gonna drive on standard, not chill mode, etc. Uh, and just, you know, treat this as like me going um, to work and back um, on a regular day if we weren't in this pandemic. So the idea is for me to actually park this car outside. I'm not going to park it inside. I do have indoor heated parking at work, but I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to keep it on, on street parking. It's about minus five degrees Celsius. I would say about 21 degrees Fahrenheit. So I think it's good uh, temperature to test this out. It's probably going to be parked for about three to four hours while I'm inside. I'll then do some math and see how much of the battery we're losing, um, maybe by the hour or so, if we could do that calculation. And then, uh, you know, right now it says that I should be at 62% battery when I come back. And let's take that into consideration and see, you know, where are we? Are we closer to 50%? Uh, are we 40%? Let's see how much uh, range we actually lose. And uh, inside the cabin, I'm gonna keep it around 21.5 degrees Celsius. I think that's around 69 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll also be listening to music on the way. So again, a regular drive, not gonna cut anything out. So should be a fun trip and let's check out how much range we have. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in here. Uh, we're about 8.7 kilometers away from our destination, as you can see on the screen. Uh, we've completed almost 38 kilometers and we're very efficient actually at 180 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, so that is ex extremely good considering that it is pretty cold outside. It's about minus two degrees right now and um, the car is doing, handling that really well. So we've, uh, we're down to 76% of battery. We started at 89%, uh, again, 38 kilometers ago. So I am keeping um, track of the actual kilometers um, using this screen over here, uh, just making sure that, you know, we're uh, tagging how much we actually drove there and back. And then I will also to be taking into consideration how much range we're gonna lose by the car just sitting outside. Um, Again, I haven't been downtown in months, probably six months. So I'm not entirely sure how the, the street parking works uh, during the pandemic. I think it's still fine. Uh, so as long as I could find um, a park outside downtown, I am going to park it there and leave it for three to four hours, maybe even a little bit longer. And then we're going to see how much uh, percentage we lose. I'm also going to heat up the car before I leave, bring the cabin temperature back to 20 degrees, take that into account as well. All right, so, so far so good. And um, we're about seven kilometers away from our destination. We are one minute away from our destination and we are 74% uh, battery, which is pretty good. We left the house uh, about 47 kilometers ago at 89% and I've had the heat going, all my lights are on and so on and so forth. So uh, for the most part, this is uh, going really well and uh, let's see what the actual battery consumption is by the time we get back home after the car has been idling and uh, weirdly enough downtown Montreal is bumping I gotta tell you there's people all over the place uh, kind of forget if there's actually a pandemic going on here like I mean this is pretty nuts you can see on the left here I have the uh, full self-driving preview mode on uh, so that's why you see the traffic lights uh, it's gonna turn green now when the actual traffic light turns green and you'll see the people walking in front of the car as well right now there's nobody but um, that that's definitely pretty cool as well. Kind of goes to show you how intelligent this car is and all the sensors that are working. So look, I'm about to take a, a left turn, but obviously there's a lot of pedestrians crossing here. And you'll see that right on the screen, which is pretty damn neat. All right. So I'm just making a loop here uh, because I did miss that turn, but um, all in all, we're at about 74%, I believe if I'm not mistaken, and I have to look at the first screen. Uh, I think the car predicted that we'll be at 72% at our destination. So not too shabby Tesla, not too shabby at all. Hey guys, what's up? Just taking a quick coffee break here and uh, you'll see Lexi in my background right over there. So, so far she's doing really well. Uh, just lost about one or two percent just sitting outside in the cold. So uh, that was about uh, it's about 72 percent now last time I checked and I've been here for just about three hours. So uh, she's holding up really well and the temperature is about zero degrees Celsius.
Hey guys, what's up? So I'm just leaving work, as you can see, and uh, it is almost 6 p.m. So I've been here for over five hours. I just uh, heated the car, so uh, I'm gonna get it up to 21 degrees before I leave. But again, last time I checked, the car was just at, uh, uh, the car was just at um, uh, 72 percent I believe so pretty awesome and almost no loss of uh, battery uh, given that it is cold outside so let's go check it out okay so I'm about to leave work here just got back in the car and as you could see uh, we're at 71 percent we were at 74 percent when we parked and that was at 12 15 uh, p.m now it's 6 1 p.m so the car has been sitting here for almost six hours and it's done really extremely well and it is zero degrees Celsius here. So quite impressive in terms of how much battery loss actually happened. And right now um, I did heat the car to 21 degrees. It's at around 18 degrees um, in inside cabin temperature and I'm ready to leave here. So uh, let's navigate home. Again, that's about 46 kilometers from here and let's see how the car does. So if you if you recall when I was leaving my house, uh, the car estimated that we will be at around 62% battery when we came back home. And uh, right now we're at 61%. What it didn't take into account was how much time the car was gonna be just parked there outside. And again, I thought it was gonna be three hours. I was actually parked for almost six hours uh, outside of my building in zero degree Celsius temperatures. So uh, that's something that the car did not account for. And um, I think it's done fantastically well. And I think, uh, you know, uh, it's pretty damn sweet that we're at 61% now, given that uh, we're 73.7 kilometers in to our journey. Uh, it's being very efficient, uh, even with this cold weather, 179 watt hours per kilometer. And, uh, you know, we have 15 kilometers to go. So let's check it out when we're at home, what we're gonna be at and uh, what that means in uh, battery percentage as well as kilometers. All right guys, so back home and we've done exactly 90 kilometers and uh, car's been pretty efficient at 177 uh, watt hours per kilometer. So that's pretty damn awesome. Given that it is a colder day outside, temperature stayed around zero degrees Celsius for the most part. And um, yeah, so let's uh, look at how efficient we've become here. We have 56% left of battery life. Again, leaving and doing a round trip in the morning, going there, coming back right away. Um, the, the car estimated that we, we would be at 62%. So if I take that, we've lost an, uh, an extra 6% of the car. All in all, it's done really well. And I'll put the numbers up on the screen here so you guys see how efficient the car has been and what this actual range test has proven. So as you can see, we lost an additional 10% of the expected battery loss. Now, if you, I break this down even further, only 7% was lost while driving in these cold conditions, around minus one degree Celsius or 30 degrees Fahrenheit on average. And then 3% was lost while the car was parked for about six hours outside. So all in all, very good. And if I compare this with my other video where I was driving around when it was minus 15 degrees Celsius or around five degrees Fahrenheit, uh, we lost about 25% battery. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Please like and subscribe as always. And if you have any questions, please let me know.